language or a kiss. Line Foot Sentinel Mayhem, Queer to the Set, San Francisco, California, July 3rd, 2010. Very not, here I come. <laughs> if you haven't seen my face yet, it's kind of uh, frightening, so be aware. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> okay, I know it's kind of jarring out of context, so let me put it into context for you. I am HIV AIDS positive, and in 2007 I suffered from a AIDS an AIDS-related polymicrobial bacterial infection of the face and PCP pneumonia, which forced me into a coma for eight weeks, during which time, to time my doctors tried to combat the bacterial infection, but failed. It necrotized the skin and bone of my face, my jaw, my upper mouth, and the left side of my nose and septum. Uh, and they were forced to amputate while I was in a coma. Uh, I woke up with a giant hole in my mouth. And you can imagine, it was quite devastating. But I made, I made it through. I'm here today. I'm happy. I can proudly say that. Thank God. Um, and I realized that there's this kind of confluence of creative energy around that corresponds to the progression I'm going through with surgeries. Um, for example, I've had 11 surgeries so far, um, eight of which have been since my sobriety date, um, July 14th, 2009. Yes, in 11 days I celebrate one year sobriety. Woohoo! Isn't it amazing? God, freaking rocks. Can't believe it. I'll be celebrating with friends and family and at Ferguson Place and doing a speech and filming it and I'm just having a great time and I can't wait. And, uh, so I'm going in for, uh, to be evaluated for my next surgery, which is going to be an operation on my mouth, to prepare it for uh, a fitting of dentures and implants so that I can smile and grin and chew and chomp and gnaw and nibble and crunch and nip, nip. Mm, yep. <laughs> I like that. Oh, and kiss. Of course, kiss. Oh. God, couldn't come too soon. Hey. That gives me an idea. Uh, well, I'm really excited about the surgery on my mouth. And like I said, there's a confluence of creative energy around that. Because um, right now, I'm involved as an artist in residence with Sins and Valid. Check them out at sinsandvalid.org. Um, they're a really great performance company for disabled people of color, queer and gender varying people. Um, and they, they premiere and workshop pieces, original pieces, that seem to push the boundaries of interpretation on sex, love, intimacy, and embodiment for the disabled and able-bodied community. And they do phenomenal work. Check out the videos tab on their website for an example, some examples of the work they do. And I'm involved in their, their Arts and Residence for Air program, which is going to showcase work, original work, in um, like the Arts and Residence in December of this year, 2010. And um, I was just talking to my artistic director on, for the program about my background and my backstory and about the film that I'm going to be featured in uh, for the HIV Story Project. And she wanted to know if she could show the film, showcase the film at, at the spotlight. Um, in December, and I was like, yeah, that'd be great, and she kind of gave me the idea, which I just had, again now, to um, toy around with using the act of kissing as the central motivating action of the narrative for my film, because I get to write the narrative and do the narration. Um, so the film I'm going to be in is part of the HIV Story Project. Um, the HIV Story Project, check them out at the HIVStoryProject.org. Um, it is a, it's a, it's a compilation of short films of all different types of genres um, commemorating the 30th anniversary of the emergence onto the scientific scene of the term HIV or human immunodeficiency virus to re that replaced 
the more popularly used, though controversial, term gay cancer used during the Reaganite era. Stop who did. Um, so it's commemorating HIV, and it's going to be featuring people with AIDS, PWAs, who are living inspiring, inspired, empowering, empowered, strong, healthful, potent, progressive, beautiful lives with HIV, with AIDS, in spite of, despite, because of AIDS. Like I'm living in spite of, despite, and because of my HIV and all the effects it's had on me. My disfigurement, my drug dependency, my social and mental depressions. Um, and I'm going to be featuring one of those films as an example of how someone can live successfully with HIV despite the myriad of consequences and symptoms. Um, and my director is going to be Daniel Cardone, or Daniel Cardone, an Australian film TV producer director who lives in San Francisco with his mother. Um, and he's really exciting to work with. He sends me all these emails which are full of creative energy and impulse and throwing all these ideas at me. And um, like I said, he wants me to write the narrative. So I thought I'd use kissing as a simple motivating action. I'll talk to him about that. See, because it's, it's a really loaded act for me right now. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> um, it's really substantial. It's intimidating for me. Uh, it, with this mouth, can you imagine? Um, but I aspire to it, I anticipate it, I look forward to it, and why not use the film to kind of workshop around kissing, around feeling the touch of another person's lips on this mutant, muddled monstrosity of a mouth that I have. Um, I think it could be really powerful, really moving, really captivating for an audience to witness. So we'll see if it works. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And um, that's all. I'm also working on uh, writing my memoir. I tried to begin that, but I'm, I'm so involved with um, Sins and Vows and Nature Story Project that it's kind of hard to focus on my memoir. But I hope to use the work that I do on my memoir and uh, the work that I do in, with these two performances in my memoir. Um, but I'm also doing improvisation and uh, scene development, character development, and um, some sketching. I'm doing some costume design for uh, some Adafrot performance PSAs that I want to bring into uh, nightclub venues and discotheques in San Francisco as a anti-meth campaign, the Crystalline Monsters. Um, and those are explained in my blog. If you haven't visited my blog, check it out. It's queerkidsf.blogspot.com. See it at the bottom of the screen. Um, and if you can't, if you haven't already, subscribe to my um, YouTube channel, Queer Kid SF, um, because hopefully I'll be uh, premiering some more videos on YouTube sometime soon. I know it's been six months since I've uh, broadcast a video or recorded a video, so I want to do it in anticipation of my one year anniversary of sobriety on July 14th. Since July 14th, is the 9th, um, everything has really come into uh, focus for me. Um, that's when I entered recovery and became sober. Uh, and thankfully, in 11 days, I'll be celebrating my one year anniversary of sobriety. So, um, and how have things come into focus? Well, since 2009, I've had eight surgeries out of 11. Can you imagine? The discrepancy is pretty huge. Before 2000, July 2009, I had had only three surgeries because I was using them. They kept getting postponed and postponed and postponed. And I kept testing positive for drugs in my urine. And it was just out of control. And finally I got sober, thank God. And I'm still sober today, in part thanks to the 12-step program, but mostly in part because thanks to my friends and thanks to my amazing network of care providers and um, my professional team of service providers, uh, who I all thank from the bottom of my heart. They mean the world to me. The 12 Step Fellowship, my providers, um, just for one day. Just one day at a time. It happens. And it can happen to you too. Even when you look like me. So hang in there, I am. And be beautiful, I am. I'll talk to you later. Have a great time. Bye.